Hello everyone welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 plus mechanical maintenance common interview question and answers so let's quickly get started what is preventive maintenance preventive maintenance is scheduled maintenance performed at regular intervals to avoid unexpected failures what is predictive maintenance predictive maintenance uses real time data and condition monitoring to predict failures before they occur what are the common types of maintenance? Preventive maintenance, predictive maintenance, corrective maintenance, breakdown maintenance and condition based maintenance. What is the total productive maintenance TPM? TPM is a proactive maintenance approach involving all employees to improve overall equipment effectiveness. What is condition monitoring? Condition monitoring involves using techniques like vibration analysis, oil analysis and thermography to detect equipment failures. So basically it is nothing but a technique or it itself is a monitoring technique which uses different amalgamation of techniques like vibration analysis, oil analysis and thermography. What are the common causes of machine failure? Poor lubrication, misalignment, overloading, wear and tear, corrosion. Always remember whenever you are writing a long answer or suppose there are some causes that you might not remember and uh, you want to answer that particular question of failure. These points are always going to help you because some or the other machine is related to each of these failures. How do you troubleshoot a hydraulic system failure? Check for leaks, verify fluid levels, inspect filters, check pump and valves, perform pressure tests. Even at our house, if the water connectivity or maybe the speed of our tap has, re has reduced, we first verify whether there is a leak or what is the fluid level. So remember, this is how you troubleshoot a hydraulic system for its failure even in a big equipment industry, not just at our houses. What are common bearing failures? Fatigue failure, that is overloading. Lubrication failure, that is contamination. Misalignment, that is incorrect installation. And corrosion, that is moisture exposure. So the third point, that is misalignment has been reduced due to the use of a lot of new robots or advanced robots. But the other three remain to be constant because corrosion uh, is due to the exposure to moisture and fatigue failure is due to the overloading meanwhile lubrication comes with different types of mixes with it sometimes the lubrication is perfect sometimes the quality is not so good so contamination takes place what is cavitation in pumps? Cavitation occurs when vapor bubbles form and collapse in a pump causing noise, vibration and damage to the impellers. How do you align a shaft in a rotating machine? As you can see in the figure also they have given very nicely that is straight edge method first one then second one with the image you can match the same that is dial indicator method and third one that is the laser alignment method. What are the different types of lubricants? So basically there are three types of lubricants that is grease which is thickened oil for high loads. Then there is oil which is lub uh, liquid lubricant for engines. And third that is the dry lubricant such as graphite, PTFE for extreme temperatures. What safety precautions do you follow in maintenance? Safety always comes first. So the first one is LOTO that is lockout or tag out. Then use PPE, gloves, glasses, ear protection. Sometimes uh, there is noise protection device given such as headphones or something. Follow SOPs, conduct risk assessment. What is the function of a torque wrench? A torque wrench applies a specific torque to a fastener preventing under tightening or over tightening. How do you test a pressure relief valve? Inspect for leaks, perform manual lift test as the man is doing or use a calibrated gauge for pressure verification. 
how do you determine belt tension again simple either you use manual method that is push or pull test you use tension meter or you use visual inspection for slack or excess tension what steps do you follow to troubleshoot a machine failure very simple again identify symptoms analyze failure patterns inspect components use diagnostic tools implement corrective actions what is the difference between breakdown and failure so basically failure is the equipment is still operational but underperforming and breakdown the equipment completely stops working what is root cause analysis rca very very important question rca is a structured method to find the primary cause of a problem using techniques like five eyes and fishbone diagram what is fmea failure mode and effects analysis is a protective approach to identify and mitigate failure risks so as you can see the figure is given and in that figure you can understand what failure means means the potential failure the mode meaning the types ways or possibilities effect meaning the negative impact or effect on process under study and a that is analysis that is study of risks and the method to improve that risk or to reduce that risk how do you reduce vibration in rotating machinery by using proper balancing correct shaft alignment using dampers and isolators and regular bearing maintenance what is a centrifugal pumps npsh very important question again net positive suction head ensures enough pressure at the pump suction side to avoid cavitation there is also a formula related with npsh if you can find that please go ahead and check out the formula as well what is the difference between mig and tig welding MIG uses a consumable wire electrode and TIG uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode for precision welding. What is the function of a gearbox? A gearbox transmits mechanical power and adjusts torque and speed in machines. How do you inspect a heat exchanger for leaks? Very important question again. Visual inspection, pressure testing or ultrasonic leak detection. The most advanced here is ultrasonic leak detection. what is a ball valve used for a ball valve is a quarter turn valve used for quick shut off in liquid and gas systems you can see the image as well describe a challenging maintenance project you handle so maybe at the times of interview this might be the question that is asked to you so always provide a star response now what is a star response S stands for situation T stands for task A stands for action and R stands for result so in situation you have to tell the scene that what exactly is this then you have to tell the purpose of the task that you performed on it explain the entire action that you did and then you have to finally share your outcomes how do you prioritize maintenance tasks very simple again address urgent breakdowns first use cmms to schedule tasks and optimize maintenance schedule so the cmm workflow has been given that is maintenance request then approval planning and scheduling then maintenance work and data recording how do you handle unavailable spare parts this is also a very interesting question because you have to identify the alternative suppliers consider temporary fixes and evaluate 3d printing for parts so this is the best answer that sir i would evaluate or ma'am i would evaluate 3d printing for the same unavailable spare part how do you improve maintenance team efficiency so training and upskilling implementation of 5s and kaizen use of predictive maintenance tools and so on if you don't know the questions about 5s and kaizen i have included that in the previous video so make sure you watch all the interview series what would you do if a colleague ignores safety protocols very important report to a supervisor ensure they understand the risks encourage following safety guidelines and it is very important no matter who your colleague is you always have to ensure that the risks are given more importance than the friendship and you have to tell them to follow all the necessary safety guidelines 
What is the role of IoT in maintenance? IoT sensors enable predictive maintenance, remote monitoring and automation. What is the use of a digital twin in maintenance? A digital twin is a virtual model used to monitor and simulate machine performance. How does Industry 4.0 impact mechanical maintenance, automated diagnostics with AI, real-time monitoring with sensors and remote troubleshooting with AR or VR? What is CMMS? There was a question behind about this and now I'm going to explain you what is a CMM. So a CMM that is Computerized Maintenance Management System is a system which tracks and schedules maintenance tasks. So a lot of companies actually use this kind of strategy for maintenance management purposes. So you can learn all of this by joining 30 plus mechanical engineering courses like CMM programming, CMM 5S, TQM, Kaizen, lean manufacturing tools with a lifetime access and how just by joining Gage How Premium, how to do this, just go to the gagehow.com website and your work is done. Like this video, comment and don't forget to share this with your friends so that they understand better about the interview questions as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.